Hello, my name is Kristen Bailey and I'm a librarian with the Mercer University Library. Today I'm going to talk to you about recognizing media bias. I'm going to do this by introducing you to the media bias chart and by talking to you about biased language and headlines. I'm going to start by using my browser's ad address bar to Google search for the media bias chart. Now I'm going to click the link for the home of the media bias chart. This will take us to the home page and you can scroll down that page to access the interactive version. This new page will let us look at the bell curve of news sources. Our vertical axis represents source reliability and our horizontal axis represents political bias. The chart also has color coded type keys, green for the most reliable fact reporting, yellow for fact reporting with some analysis, orange for news with reliability issues, and red for news with serious reliability issues. You can zoom into the chart to look at sections of news sources that are heavily clustered. When using news sources for most assignments at Mercer, I strongly encourage you to use news sources only in the green and yellow boxes. In most cases, you would not use sources in the orange or red boxes for your research. This is because we want to focus our source use in original fact reporting, fact reporting, or possibly some high level analysis. In most cases for your research, your professor wants you, not the news source, to offer analysis or commentary. If you search for a news outlet title in the box over here, The chart will show you where a selection of articles from that outlet fall within the chart. They take the average of these articles to pinpoint where the news outlet as a whole should be placed on the chart. I searched for Bloomberg as an example and you can see the selected articles largely fall within the green box with a few in the yellow box. You can hover over an article to see specific factors for reliability and bias, and you can click the dot to view the article on, our, on uh, Bloomberg's website. Keep in mind that many news outlets offer both fact reporting and commentary. This yellow blocked article from Bloomberg is cataloged under the editorial board, which means it's going to contain views or opinions from the editor's perspectives instead of fact reporting. These things are also true for TV news outlets like Fox News and CNN. You can see that they fall sometimes in the green box, sometimes in the yellow, occasionally in the orange, and occasionally in the red. It's these, this content up in these boxes that we want to concentrate our research on. I also want to show you another simplified way to recognize bias in news articles, the language contained in headlines. I'm going to share five example articles with you so that we can compare those headlines. Here's the first article. Looking at the title of this article, you can see that they've chosen some fairly incendiary words for their headline. Right wing sight, preaches, the left ruins everything. These chosen words are anything but neutral. They've already taken a position on this news and you know what that position is before you even read the article. They could have given the article a neutral title like Ohio Public School uses PragerU as a teaching tool, but they chose to give the article an attention grabbing headline that focuses on an emotional response. Here's another. The title for this one is, Americans have given up on public schools. That's a mistake. Do you feel like the article has already taken a position? I think they have from their use of terms like mistake and given up. And the subtitle, the current debate over public education underestimates its value and forgets its purpose, further shares the article's opinion with you. Within this title and subtitle, I see very little fact reporting, but a great deal of opinion. Now, on to the next one. 
Our title is now Report Remote Learning Fails Many New Mexico Students. Fails would normally be a word that indicates bias. But in this case, the headline is reporting the facts from a report, which le legitimizes the use of the word. This news source isn't taking a stance or giving, it, giving an opinion, but simply letting you know the results of that report. Moving on, this article, Critical Race Theory Manipulates History, also uses langu language that clearly takes a position in the headline. The use of the word manipulates showcases the opinion of the author very clearly and encourages an emotional response to the title. And now here's our last article example. This one also uses incendiary language, particularly use the use of the phrase deadly strings. This takes a strong stance on the article's point of view and strongly indicates that analysis or opinion exists in this piece. A more neutral title could have been Democrats Heroes Act links relief money to state education spending. This is a more neutral title that also gives some basic fact reporting in the headline. So as you can see, headlines often give an easy clue to the bias of the news article. Of the five articles we looked at, which one do you think would be most appropriate to use in a research paper? My suggestion would be the article that used the most neutral fact-based language in its title, Report, Remote Learning Fails Many New Mexico Students. I also suggest looking at one other helpful source for recognizing media bias, All Sides. This website offers three perspectives on recent news, a From the Left article, a From the Center article, and a From the Right article. Now I'm going to return to the library's homepage. If you need any help finding a resource or requesting it through Interlibrary Loan, please feel free to contact us by using the Ask a Librarian page, where you can reach us by chat, Zoom, email, or phone. Thank you.